Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on UPK creation for the December 2010 version of UDK. My name is Al Nachman from Cohort 15 at the Guildhall. This video was recorded on January 26, 2010. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a custom package and how to import a static mesh and texture into that package. First, let me briefly explain what a UPK is. Simply put, it's the packaging format used by UDK. All game assets are stored in UPKs. So to begin, open the content browser here at the top, and then go to the bottom left and click New to make a new package. On the line labeled Package, you give it a name. We're going to call this one Custom Package. And in the factory drop-down list, choose what type of object you want it to make. In this case, it's going to be a material, so we hit OK. That opens the material editor, which we do not need yet, so I'll close it. Down here in the bottom left of the uh, packages list, you can see our custom package and our blank material inside. Now it's time to import our assets. You can do that by clicking the Import button, or by right-clicking in this gray space and choosing Import from the top of the list but I like the button, so I'm going to click it. Navigate to where your assets are. Here I've got a crate in the ASE format and a texture as a targa. So I'm going to open, open the crate. It's going to our custom package. It's named crate. That's fine. Ignore that. And then import the texture. It's going to our custom package, which is good. All right, so now we have our texture and crate in the custom package, and it's time to get the texture on the static mesh. But you can't put the texture directly on the static mesh. You have to apply it to the material first. So we double click the material to open the material editor again. Go back into the content browser and select the texture making sure that it's highlighted in yellow. Then go into the Material Editor, scroll till you find the Texture category, click Texture Sample and drag it into the window. You've got these little buttons on the side, that's the colors, the RGB for the texture. Black is all of them, <laughs> that's what you want. So we're going to drag it up to the Diffuse tab, and that puts our texture on the material. Click the big green check mark to apply it. And now our material is ready to put, be put on the static mesh. Doing that similar, you double click, open up a static mesh editor, go back to the content browser, select the material, and now in the static mesh editor, where this green arrow is next to the material line, click that, it applies the selected material, and here we go. Now if you look, there's, it says there's no collision on our crate, so you can add that by going, going to Collision at the top, picking whatever collision model you want. I'm going with the simple one, and if you like, you can click this button here to show your collision. Next, you just drag in the static mesh into the world, and there you go. Custom static mesh with custom texture. Now before you end, you will probably want to save your package. You right-click, and click Save. It doesn't really matter exactly where you save it to, as long as it's somewhere within the content folder here. So I'm just going to save it right there. takes a little bit. Alright, so now our custom package has been saved and everything looks just fine. So, I hope this tutorial has been helpful in showing you how to make packages in UDK.